Pointy tears stole one day India, England, Australia What a player What a player What a player Welcome back everybody to yet another episode of Concussion Sub-Series We are going to review South Africa tour of West Indies South Africa will look to carry the confidence of Test Match Series success to the T20 Internationals and guess what though South Africa has won the Test Series they are facing one of the best T20 sides on the planet for example Chris Gale, Kyron Pollard those two are enough to score 200 runs in 20 overs so to talk about it all as to how that series will shape up and also at the end of the episode stay tuned and watch the entire episode we'll also do dream 11 fantasy pick for the first t20 which vishak and akash who are resident experts welcome guys and are you looking forward for this t20 month of cricket absolutely thrilled after the dull test series where invested has had to you know kneel down to south africa literally now this is going to be a different format it is their format, they own it, and the kind of players they have brought back into this particular series is overwhelming. If you just think about the Andrew Russells and the Polars and the Gales, you know, it might send them down shivers down the opposition bowlers. Although South Africa's bowlers are good enough, you know, in their own respect, but still, West Indies as a team in T20 is a different beast altogether. So, Vishak, how many match series is there and where are, where are the games happening? Yeah, I, I, I think it's in West Indies. <laughs> it's going to be a five-match T20 series and all the matches are going to be played at Canada. It's a single location because of the COVID protocols and all the matches will be played in a single stadium. But as we said, like West Indies are a different artist. Uh, they are a beast in the T20 side, mm-hmm. T20, uh, T20s. And they have got all their veterans like uh, Kyron Pollard, Chris Gale, Dwayne Bravo, Andre Russell, everybody back. So they look at full strength side and I think they would challenge the South, South Africans in this format. Yeah. And this is a good precursor preparation for both the teams for T20 World Cup. Earlier today, it was announced that now UAE and Oman will host the T20 World Cup, which is fantastic news for cricket lovers. There is another ton of T20s coming through, which is IPL and back to back immediately after a few days T20 World Cup so exciting times what are South Africa's chances West Indies clearly have an upper hand they destroyed Sri Lanka earlier so Sanjay what do you think South Africa where do they stand on T20s I mean T20 just the format is such that uh, it's anybody's game on the given day Uh, with some confidence from the test series I think it's definitely going to help them but West Indies are world champions 2016 it's a long time actually five years ago more than five years ago and they their players are tailor-made for this they play all around the world test cricket is not their priority they have lots and lots of experience big year for world d20 so i would put them just a step ahead of uh, south africa in terms of winning or you know doing well in this series uh, also playing at home always helps so definitely south africa has a good team they've got very good bowlers uh, decent experience, but uh, West Indies would be tough to beat. So from a series production, if you take a look at it, I think it's going to be the West Indies' batting effort against the South Africa's bowling. So whoever com- comes on top of or comes on top out of these two will be picking up the series. I would slightly tilt towards uh, West Indies in this matter only because South Africa doesn't have that kind of firepower in their batting as compared to West Indies. And West Indies has got a host of all-rounders who can you know bowl overs and middle overs and then they can you know, field well. Uh, so they have a you know, sort of a complete team as in comparison to South Africa, who are more a bowling strong team than a batting strong team in T20 side. Okay. So I'll predict probably a 3-2 series for West Indies. 3-2 West Indies. Uh, for South Africa, I feel uh, with Temba Bauma as a captain, he's not an ideal T20 batsman. He's actually eating up one spot there at the top of the order. So, I think that would be a weakness for them. Either they can play, if he steps down, either they can play uh, Riza Hendricks or Janeman Malan, who has performed well in the domestic circuits and also have shown good form in the recent uh, T20 series. So, that is one weakness, I would say, at the top of the order. Though Quinton Decock is still there, him opening will actually, is actually a kind of a problem for them. 
So, and again, as Akash already mentioned, they are a complete all-round. West Indies are a complete all-round side, and this is their format. This is their forte. So, I would actually predict a three-two win for the West Indies. Okay. So, so from a cricket-loving perspective, a lot of people anticipated that potentially AB de Villiers might, you know, come back for this year's World Cup. But unfortunately, not. Just that man being in that squad would have made all the difference. But yeah, World Cricket doesn't. Doesn't uh, deserve AB de Villiers maybe this year or you know, he's retired. So really unfortunate. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think West Indies uh, will win this. Don't and be disappointed. You will get to see him play in IPL soon. Yeah, yeah but South Africa hasn't won anything, uh, any big ICC tournaments. Uh, although I must say, I was looking at this last seven ICC tournaments, seven different teams have won. So if there has to be an eighth team. South Africa's chances for World T20 are bright then, but uh, yeah, 1998 Champions Trophy is all they've won, uh, and after that, it's been uh, a sorry state of affairs for them. So, so this quick, is really practice. Quick trivia for you guys, and I was stumped this morning when one of my friends asked me this, and I'm sure you guys will have this tip of your tongue. Who won the last T20 World Cup? West Indies. West Indies. Okay, I was stumped. I was New Zealand. I was South Africa. I was just confused. It's so phased out. It was four sixes back. from Carlos Brathwaite. Yeah. India yeah. lost out in the semis. I don't want. I don't want to make this an India thing, but yeah, we lost out in semis in, in Mumbai. Uh, such a heartbreaking loss. I can still like imagine like that was the World Cup we should have won. I think we dropped Lendl Simmons four times no and he literally cost us the game. Yeah. We literally got off the flight and came to play and just won the match for West Indies. Yeah, he hadn't played earlier in the tournament. I think this is first match. He was an injury uh, replacement, right? Yes, yeah, he was an injury replacement. Just walked out and won the match. And last Sanjay, your call. So three to West Indies for both Rishabh uh, and Sanjay. I would say three to West Indies. All oh, my yes. predictions are pretty bad, so I won't be surprised if it's five nil South Africa. <laughs> five nil South Africa winning. Wow. Because you my predictions are so there. bad, so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you needed an ABD to turn out that way. Great, so let's switch to the fantasy cricket tips for the first T20 international. So, Akash and Vishak, here's how the team looks. So, why don't you take us through? Yeah, so if you look at the history of uh, T20 between West Indies and South Africa, there have been 10 games played and South Africa have come, up, come on top in six of them. West Indies have won just four. But considering the strength of West Indies in this particular series, uh, remember, they never have played full strength team previously in the last five years. So, considering that, we will be tilting slightly towards West Indies as the winners for this particular series. However, your fantasy team doesn't necessarily have to, you know, have the entire winning team, you know, out there. If you look at it, the combination, we have played six South African players and five uh, genuine all-round uh, West Indies players out there. So, let's begin with the wicketkeeper in here. The first wicketkeeper which you want to choose out here is Quinton de Kock. There was no question of uh, you know dropping him or replacing him with somebody else. He's just been in prime of his form and now without the captaincy pressure, he's the best you're going to get at the top of the order. So he's going to be the captain of the side as well. Followed by Chris Gale. He is the T20 beast as we all know. The universe boss as you can watch in your uh, you know, photo out there. So he's going to be there. Followed by Lendl Simmons. He's been uh, again in good form. In from a South African batsman perspective, we have uh, picked up uh, David Miller. He looked in a pretty decent form in the recent T20 league as well. And we also have Van der Dusen, who's been doing pretty well across all the uh, formats out here. Those are your key keepers and key batsmen. Okay, from the all rounders perspective, we have gone with two West Indies Bs, Kyron Pollard and Andre Russell. Andre Russell was recently concussed in the PSL, but he is back fit. So we expect him to come back strong and we also expect him to bowl a little bit along with delivering some lusty blows. Kyron Pollard, we all know how destructive he is. Who can forget that six sixes of Akila Dhananjaya? So he and his recent IPL exploits as well have, as we have been good and is in good form. George Linda is a all rounder. He's a left arm spinner and he can bat a little bit as well. So they, they, they South Africa might play him at number six. And then we have with the, for the bowlers we have gone with Dwayne Bravo. It's surprising that he has slipped out from the all-rounders and re recently has come into the bowler category right from the IPL onwards. So he can bat a little bit as well, and his cutters will be very useful in the death. And he'll be the death bowler for the West Indies. And Lungi Ngidi, as Akash always mentions, 
he he has a tendency to perform in the first match of the series so that's why that's the reason we have gone with him and and andrek not here is the other seamer okay one change if you ask me i would make this is fantastic tip for lungi and gidi i always get concerned about his t20 bowling because he is usually expensive and in ipl he got tonked quite a bit so you still have showing a lot of trust on him even though he is a first game player i'm guessing he's cheap is is it akash is he cheap uh, no i think we could have fitted in rabada as well in there but uh, we go with gidi only because history says in the first game of any tournament which he plays he has got this habit of picking up at least 3 wickets and this has happened almost every time he's played in the previous series so going by that fact and also that if there is going to be a bit of a rain around tomorrow the mm-hmm. 70% chances there is going to be rain tomorrow so either your batsmen are going to come on top or one any one particular bowler can you know pick up two or three wickets here and there so that's the reason i'm going with uh, we are going with uh, ingedio as usual experts experts so let's go with the expert commentary and expert advice excellent so last couple of things before we wrap for the day number 1 covid support structure in india it things are starting to get better in your first available opportunity please get vaccinated if you did get vaccinated congratulations and thank you wear mask and please maintain social distancing rules the frontline workers continue to do phenomenal job what a player and its team are always thankful and grateful for the support which the frontline workers are bringing through and last but not least fantasy tips are purely for entertainment purposes only none of us in what a player will be responsible for any losses incurred and vishak always gives us a expert advice on top of picking teams to play responsibly win lots of money once and all the very best sanjay vishak and akash thanks and Sanjay hopes South Africa doesn't win five nil. I don't think they will, but let's see. <laughs> see you next time, guys, with more cricket. Thanks for joining in.